Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be reviewing a pretty neat new product that is out on the market today, and I'm so excited. Today's video, we are reviewing the Clarisonic Sonic Foundation Brush. This is so cool. I picked it up today at Ulta and literally came right back here because I cannot wait to try it out. I've seen demonstrations, I've seen other people's reviews of it, and I just think it's so cool. It's such a neat concept, and I want to try it for myself. I have a Clarisonic Mia 2, it's a beautiful bright greeny yellow color, and I just attached it onto here. Um, I have yet to open it and like open the cap and actually look at the brush itself. Okay, so it is definitely interesting. Oh, it has a hole in the center, just like any of their cleansing brushes do, so that's an interesting concept. Um, oh, it's super soft, but also very dense at the exact same time, if that makes any sense. A shedding bristle, or a, a really long one? I'm not sure what's going on with this right here. Okay, um, that was interesting. Huh, okay, okay, so... We won't judge it off of that one strange little bristle. Is there anything interesting on the box? Um, the box just tells me that it is a sonic liquid foundation brush designed for fast, smooth, and even application. Uh, that's not English. It says that you can use it for foundation and contour. We'll have to try it for both. Let's see what it says online about it. We will go to the Ulta app and see exactly what it says about the brush. Okay, so this brush head retails for $35. That is pretty hefty for a brush, but then again, some brands, their foundation brushes are upwards of like $30, $40, so that is kind of comparable in that sense. However, just for the one single brush head, it's $35. You get better foundation coverage while using less foundation. It says this head utilizes the patented oscillation technology to generate more than 18,000 micro micro blends <laughs> per minute. This makeup brush gently provides a flawless full foundation coverage in 60 seconds or less. That's pretty darn fast. That's a hefty claim. We'll see about that. We will see about that one. Um, it says it's equipped with antimicrobial and non-porous bristles. It is easy to clean and ensures minimal formula absorption into your brush head. So that's neat. So an issue that I do have with a lot of my other brushes is they do absorb a lot of the form or a lot of the foundation and sponges are notorious for doing that. So it will be interesting if this doesn't absorb as much as it's claiming. Let's see. Here they are with that claim again. Applies your favorite liquid or stick foundation. I thought it had to be a liquid. It could be a stick too. Hmm. Um, it says apply your liquid. <laughs> applies your favorite liquid or stick foundation in under a minute. That claim again. That under a minute claim. I don't believe it. <laughs> like I'll just be straight. I don't believe that. It delivers an airbrushed makeup look. I am into the airbrushed look, just not the whole airbrush system. I think it's a little, a little overrated personally. Works well with BBC BB. And CC creams, I swear to God I know how to read. <laughs> so, not recommended for use with powders. I don't know who would put a powder on this and then expect it to work. There's someone out there. There's someone for every rule. I think it's time to put this thing to the test. So I went ahead and I moisturized my skin, I have my primers on, and I'm ready to dive in. Okay, so I grabbed the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really like this foundation, it's pretty full coverage. Um, I just think it'll be a good one to test out. It is liquid. I do have a stick foundation, but I think I just want to try the liquid foundation application for the sake of this video, and we'll make another one just dedicated to the stick foundation. So normally I blend this foundation in with a dense foundation brush, something like this one, like the Morphe M439 brush. Lately I have been using this brush that I got in my boxy charm. It is the crown brush. It looks like it's like a little knockoff artiste type brush. I really like this, but that's what I have normally been using to blend in this foundation. Ah, let's get started. Wow. I feel like I should move a little faster. The sensation on my face is, I don't even know how to describe it. my nose. That was kind of unbearable. <laughs> I don't know 
know if you're supposed to take it in circles. Okay, that was 60 seconds and it's still not blended completely in. I was moving pretty slow there in the beginning. It is so hard to like blend out my nose because it tickles so much. <laughs> it tickles my eyes. What the hell? What is this? There's another bristle that is shed out. So thus far that is two. What an adventure that was. Whew. I definitely don't have the coverage that I want. I can still see a lot of my freckles popping through. Um, some of the redness. So let me try to put on another layer really quick. And we will see what that looks like then. I don't know if I'm using too much product. That might be a problem. Okay, so there my face here my face is with the second layer applied. Is it perfectly blended in? No, I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. Does it look nice? Yeah, it looks okay. But I definitely, me personally, I would definitely want to take a blending sponge over it just to blend it all in and make it a little bit more seamless because when I was going over my nose the second time, there were like little brush strokes and little line like marks. And my, my brush is shedding quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Catrice Liquid Camouflage, the high coverage concealer. Now I'm going to try the less is more technique and see if that really plays a difference. Okay, so here is the concealer blended out. I definitely think I was correct with the less is more approach. It definitely seemed to have an easier time blending whenever it had less product to try to move around. So that's definitely something to keep in mind whenever you use this for the first time. Far away, you really can't tell that it's not blended perfectly. When I get super up close to my mirror, I'm seeing like little brush strokes and things like that that I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, I definitely don't want them on my face, but we gotta keep moving. So now I'm going to try it with a little bit of cream contour. I'm going to be using the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. Let's go. So that actually looks really nice, that contour. I'm really liking it. It blended it out really well and it actually didn't disturb the foundation underneath. So that's a plus. There's a little check mark in the pro side. Okay, well let me finish putting on the rest of my face and then I will come back and we will talk about what are my exact thoughts about this product. Give me a minute. Okay guys, so I am back. I finished putting on the rest of my face super quick. Um, so. What are my final thoughts on the Clarisonic Sonic Foundation Brush? I actually do like this brush. Even though I didn't blend in everything perfectly, like seamlessly, like it says that it will, I have yet to find a brush that actually does that or meets that claim. Every time that I do my foundation with a brush, it really doesn't matter what particular one, I can either love the brush or maybe it's just a mediocre brush. I always end up having to take something like a beauty sponge to make sure everything is nice and flawless, patting all of the rest of the foundation into my skin. That's just one little like tip or trick that I do to make sure that everything looks nice and flawless. Not everybody does that that's perfectly fine. Um, I will probably have to play with it a little bit more, see exactly how it's supposed to be used. I'll definitely try that less is more theory with the product and see how that works for me. I have a feeling I will like it a lot more if I do use it that way. Yeah, so that's pretty much it on this review, guys. Um, final thoughts are this. It's definitely Morgan approved. No, I definitely approve this product. I definitely think that you should give it a try if you have the means to be able to do so. Like I said, it is a little pricey and you have to have a Clarisonic, so... 
Thanks so much for tuning in to my video this week, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys do actually enjoy these type of reviews. I have a couple other products that I think I would like to review, maybe do a full face of first impressions or... A, a good amount of first impressions. I may not have enough for a full face here, but I do think these videos are kind of fun because you do get to see my exact reaction whenever I first use a product. So there's really no hiding it. I know myself personally, I suck at, you know, composing my emotions. I wear them all right here on my face and I cannot hide it. So, oh well, but it makes for a good review. <laughs> like I said, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you want to, you can follow me on my other social media accounts. They will be linked down below. Like I said, thanks so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Can you imagine you're just like in your room, putting on your foundation, but somebody walks in because, and all they hear is this? What are you doing in there? Just a fine foundation, duh!